I'm a partner in the litigation and employment groups at Tories. Yeah, my practice is in commercial litigation with a real focus on employment litigation. So I act in all matters of employment disputes from wrongful dismissal, uh, litigation to overtime claims, harassment and human rights claims. But I also provide strategic advice to our clients on issues that arise in their workplace. So I'm often acting behind the scenes for our clients on issues that have potential reputational risk um, and issues that may be sensitive uh, to them as a workplace. So th the type of advice I give is in the area of uh, sensitive and high profile executive departures, competitive recruiting situations, restrictive covenant dis disputes, uh, allegations of wrongdoing by employees, whether it be financial wrongdoing, uh, harassment or human rights allegations, anything that keeps people up at night <laughs> worrying. I'd say what I value most about my practice involves people who I deal with every day. So I love coming to work, uh, working with the people at Tories who are so passionate about what they do, who love doing, uh, the, the, who love helping our clients for whom excellence is a minimum standard. That's very motivating because it always makes you want to strive to, to do better every day, to be around people like that. Um, but most of all, I love the fact that my colleagues um, operate with such a high level of respect and professionalism, um, despite the fact that there's such intellectual rigor and so much pressure on my colleagues in terms of their practices. They are always nice to one another and to me and to clients. Um, they, they take the time to, to talk about what's important to, to you in, in, in your everyday life. And that's very meaningful and it makes it a happy place to, to come to work every day. I'm also very lucky to have clients who want to do the right thing. Um, it makes it very easy to provide advice to clients who um, take the time to look at all of the angles of a situation, who ultimately want to do the right thing, who want to treat people fairly and with respect. And so that aligns very nicely with my own values, the values of the people I work with, uh, that our clients have come from that same perspective. The best career advice that I ever received from a mentor was life advice that I received from my parents. Uh, they always taught me, you know, th these are simple things, but they always taught me to treat people kindly and with respect, to try to understand a situation before jumping in or, or rushing to judgment, to keep your chin up and keep perspective on a situation, to be kind with people, yeah, to work hard and do your best. I mean, these are simple things, but honestly, these are the types of things that I have in mind every day in my practice and that I hold very dear to me and really these are the things that really do influence how I practice law. I'm a mentor to a number of junior associates at our firm and I have really close relationships with them. I've also been a mentor through the Laws program, Law in Action Within Schools, uh, where I mentored a high school student who had ambitions to, to uh, go to law school and become a lawyer one day, and I found that very gratifying as well. Um, I also do a lot of teaching for the Advocates Society, and I love doing that. Um, there's, a, there's a real teaching philosophy at Tories. Uh, Sheila Block has always uh, done so much teaching, and, and both outside of the firm and within the firm. And um, that's really inspired in me a love of teaching. My parents are both teachers as well, so I, I like to give back in that way. I've also done a lot of pro bono work uh, myself uh, in terms of providing employment advice and counsel to clients like Right to Play, uh, the Association for Women's Rights and Development, World Wildlife Fund, um, Special Olympics Ontario. Um, there are actually a number, uh, Canadian Civil Liberties Association. So that's very gratifying to me as well to be able to provide that sort of advice uh, to our pro, pro bono clients. We often focus on the advocacy or the, the part of the practice, if you're a litigator, or the doing. But in order to really represent our clients, we have to really understand them, understand where they're coming from, understand the context in, with, in which they're operating. So I think first and foremost, as lawyers, we have to be good listeners. And, and I definitely think of that in my own practice in employment litigation and employment advisory work. I need, I need to first of all be the person at the other end of, of the line who's going to listen to the problem before I rush in to fix it. Um, so that's an important element for me. And then 
problem solving is obviously um, very important and that's more of a give and take I find with clients because our clients are very sophisticated and, and very good at problem solving themselves and it's amazing that when we get together what, what we're able to do in, in the midst of a crisis and to be able to work our way out of it. I had my children after I became partner but at a time when my career was, was really taking off and so it's been difficult to take some time out uh, for what's very important to me, taking care of my young children at a time when my career is also uh, moving in a direction. So I, I would not say that it isn't challenging to, to have done that and to, uh, to be building a practice again after returning from maternity leave. But it can be done. There are a lot of people who support me in this and I feel that I, you know, I've got the firm behind me, I've got wonderful clients who have been very understanding and, um, and it's just taken a lot of hard work.